Hi folks, welcome back. It's been exactly six weeks since I've planted these tomatoes in the deep water culture beds. So I figured I'd give you a quick tour and show you what general maintenance I've been doing on the plants to get them to grow like this. These videos are sponsored in part by our Patreon contributors. Our top contributors are GrowPockets.com, GreenLifePlanet.net, GlassBottleOutlet.com, and TrueAquaponics.com. Thanks for your support. So first thing I've been keeping up with is tying them up. And it's pretty important just to do this. Take care of it every couple of days. and got to really keep them in their spot. Once they start uh, mixing in with other plants and among their neighbors, it can get really hard to manage them. So as long as you keep that nice and trained along its string, you're off to a good start. I've been pretty good with keeping the nutrient levels up, except for the nitrates. I'm running a little light on that, and you can see in the leaves how they're starting to get a little pale. This is definitely from a, a nitrate deficiency. So I'll keep feeding the fish and hopefully get this uh, to rebound. Every day I come out and do a walkthrough and find any of the suckers. And the suckers are these little things that come up in the crotch of the leaf stems. And when they're small like this, you can just pull them right off. On some vines, they'll actually do a split. and There'll be a Y shape in it. And some growers will actually leave these alone and they'll have uh, two vines and tie them up that way. Definitely not the same as a sucker, but it's not something I want to have to manage. So a good sharp knife will take that right off. A lot of times on the stems that will have fruit, it also continues along with the sucker. And this part of the vine just doesn't serve any purpose. It just sucks the energy out from going into the fruit. So you usually want to just cut those off and just leave behind what was left for the flowers. I'll even trim this one off. So then we're left just with a stem that has the, uh, the flowers and the fruit coming in on it. One thing I like to do is prune off the lower branches. It helps get more air around the plant, keep the leaves dry. And I was reading about a study how the vines that have the fruit on them most of the sugars go into the fruit from the surrounding leaves, so you want to keep a couple of them above and below. But then anything uh, below that's not fruiting anymore, you just want to prune them off because those leaves basically serve no purpose to the plant. And if you're growing outdoors, it's a great idea to keep all the lower leaves off because it helps uh, to slow down the spread of the various uh, diseases. Do have some fruit coming in already. And again, if you also keep the leaves around the fruit, it helps to shade them a little bit. And if you're in the heat of the summer, it helps to prevent them from getting sunburned. All the lettuce that I planted in here, it's all just long because it got shaded out so fast by the tomatoes. It's basically useless. It'll become a guinea pig food. But uh, I guess it sort of served a purpose, but realistically, it, more than anything else, it's getting in the way of easily pruning the plants. These are the plants that I originally started in the potting soil. And this one last one here is one that got pulled out of the media beds. And they did rebound. That purple came out of the stems. I'm assuming it was something to do with that potting soil. Most likely high pH because they usually have a lot of peat in those things. But they are coming back. They're probably about two weeks or three weeks behind what the larger plants are. This is the one I started in the grow grip. The grow grip really isn't functioning much anymore. The plant is pulled out and it just has this massive root system so it's really being supported by the 
string and not the grow grip, but it, it worked well for getting it started and holding it in place. See the roots in here are doing well. I have some salvinia that gets stuck in here, but overall the, the root structure looks really good. With these growing so fast, I'm almost at my top wire and I'm not quite ready to start lowering them down. So I think I may run the strings up to the upper part of the dome and make them grow taller. I'm still thinking about that. So we'll see you for next time. Once again, thanks for watching.